What's up guys? So we're back at the shop today. Before we get this video started, in April, the beginning of April, we're gonna be in Vegas for Rotorcon. So if you guys are in the area or planning to uh, go to the show, stop by. We're gonna be at the DNA booth. Okay guys, so we're gonna check out this uh, Black FD. Let's see what was done to it. So basically it's got our, our you know, mid-range uh, V-mount on there with a Borg Warner 7670. Um, we're still running a Power FC with uh, injector dynamics, full function engineering rail, pressure regulator. Um, we're, if I recall correctly, it's making 408 at about 15 pounds of boost on pump gas. It's actually his daily driver. Yeah. This one's actually our bigger kit. Um, the guy is still on twins, but he does track it. So we ended up going with a 3.5 inch uh, spear going a cooler with our custom tanks cast. And uh, it actually, this is basically what we use on all our race cars. There's a lot less pressure drop with these intercoolers and they make it a lot more efficient than our, our typical, you know, street, street kits or the smaller ones that we do. Uh, we only seen a rise in temperatures of like maybe 15 degrees. Uh, compared to with our other kits, we tend to 25, sometimes even 30 degree increase, depending on on what the setup is with the car. But for track, this is like our ultimate ultimate kit right here. Okay, so we're at Rat Industries now. We're gonna go check out a car that uh, Louis and uh, Dan Burkett are collaborating on. It belongs to Brett. It's a 1974 RX4. Not much of a car left except the outer shell here. So Brett has some crazy ideas and then with Louie and me together, DNA Garage and Rad Industries, we're gonna make that dream of Brett's come true. Okay, so Brett's gonna have anywhere from 1,000, 1,200 wheel horsepower. So he's gonna utilize some like straight race car stuff like that quick change rear end you saw on the back. And then he's gonna get a Samsona sequential six speed transmission. That will just make his driveline, you know, like able to withstand the demand that the motor will put out. And then um, we're doing a rear mount radiator and some other custom. Well, the whole car, everything's custom as you can see, but it's just the beginning stages. So come back and check it out later and see what we've done. All right, basically, we, what we did is uh, we cut all the factory stuff out, kind of made like a two foot chassis and literally got the complete subframes from an RX-8 and made everything fit. So it's currently running four RX-8 suspension front and rear. And remember guys, uh, if you guys like this video, subscribe and click that like button. That way we could keep making these videos. And like I said last time, if there's a topic or something you guys want us to, to make a video about, just let me know, put it down on the comments and uh, we'll check it out.